Hello Power Users, Zbigniew Pukowski here and today we will be looking at how to patch the gallery selected items. We will keep this example simple to the one screen, but you also can do it with multiple screens because the gallery selected item will be remembered and kept through the screens. So if you select this on the one point, then it is selected uh, item. This is important, but we will just uh, create the simplest example working on the title. If you want to work on the other type of fields, I have many other videos about this or how to use combo box as a multiple checkbox, how to display items in the combo box. For now, we will be just working with the title and changing its name. Okay, so let's start. I will create for example the text input. In this text input, I want to, let's change the name first. Text for text update name board game. Cool. This will be uh, according to coding guidelines. This is important. And in the defaults, we want to use the gallery gallery board games, which is this gallery dot dot. I want to use the selected function because I will select my, my, uh, my board game and then the name, because this will be the title. Cool. So how I use the selected by clicking on this arrow, this will select, select the parent item. You can do this or you can just work here and uh, in the items you can also have on select and then here select dot uh, select parent let's remove this one yeah because i had selected in the select so this will then create some kind of circular reference but now I'm selecting by clicking on here, the hunger, agricole, alien frontiers, Dune. As you see, I'm selecting those items. This is the indication for now. We can, of course, change this. So what I want to do is I want to just update this record based on the change just in, in this field, because this is the text field. So I can do this. And if I go back, then this is not selected. Uh, this is not updated. So I want to update this by display of a button because I want this to be intentional from the user. So I will create the button update. And here I want in the, not in the fill, I want to on select, I want to use the patch function, which is either updating or creating a new record. First of all, I want to use this as an update. So I will, uh, in the source argument, I will choose that this will be the template board games and in the records, I will use the gallery dot I have uh, board game and sorry, the gallery board games dot selected uh, comma. This will select the whole items which I'm referring to because it will probably take the GUID from here. So this, this uh, in here, and there is a GUID start. Uh, but uh, we want to just select the record and the whole record is, is just gallery board selected. So this will be already new what, uh, what is selected. Then I want to change the name based on what it's in my text input dot. And from this, we will use the text, of course. Let's close the parentheses and let's just run it. So I have the Agricola. Let me change to Agricola edit. Let me update this. Hop. Uh, so uh, as, you, as you could see that uh, my, my Agricola was selected, was changed. Uh, it didn't need the reset function because sometimes I see that people are using the reset, at, uh, reset and the gallery in God games. You don't need this function here. You don't need it at all. You will need the reset only if you are working, if you want to refresh the source because of some kind of external modification, but not in inside of this power up. So the reset is not needed. This is the popular mistake, which I've already seen. It will 
uh, eat up your memory without a reason. Uh, same, uh, you may need to use the defaults. The defaults will be uh, will be used as the as the default values of other fields. So if you want to keep all the other fields reset to the defaults, then use this one, this part. But don't use it if you want to set it yourself or you don't want to touch those those cards. Uh, so if I have, for example, uh, the default image or the default selection of, of those checkbox as uh, null, then the updates in the defaults will change this to 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 nothing, to, to null. But in the, this case, I don't want to use it. And remember that if you omit this one, this will create a new record with this uh, text uh, update name board game uh, name. So we will have the Agricola and Agricola edit uh, two kind of records. This will be a mistake that, that you need to avoid. So over, always remember to to show your your record. Oh, this will be working as intended. We have Agricola edit. Now we have Agricola. Everything works. This is the simplest example I can imagine by using the the update of the gallery selected the defaults. Uh, sorry, gallery selected items and hope that helped. If yes, you can subscribe, like, etc. I have many other videos from Power Apps, Power Automate, Power Automate Dex Desktop, and Power Platform as a whole. You can check those as well. And uh, for now, this is it. Zbigniew Fukowski out. See you.